what are a few things you need to know about traveling, being an African American and owning an RV, and some of the things that I have learned that has been a plus, and some of the things I have learned that has been a negative. So, let me tell you about my house. This RV I got, got a rear door entry way. This is a plus. I mean, uh, if I wouldn't have had one, then I wouldn't have knew <laughs> the asset of having this. So I really like that this comes up. It got a deck on it. All of them don't have this feature, but <clears throat> mine did, but you do can have a lot of them with a real interest though. So to me, it was a plus having that. So another good thing is size. Two people, you know, you need to try to figure out what size you want to go with. Um, me and my wife, we went with a 36 footer and actually it was plenty for us, um, the size of it. Um, we can be able to get around, we both can have our, still have our space, you know what I mean? And um, one, one other factor that uh, counted into it was the weight of the RV. So, I knew I had to get a used truck. I couldn't afford a new one at the time, so I wanted to get a used truck I could actually fix up and use and to serve the purpose of me traveling. So, I wanted to get a RV that was the size I needed, but also uh, not real, real heavy. So, the one I actually purchased was a 2004 Glendale Titanium. And, um, it actually weighs about, um, let me see here. It actually weighs 10,000 pounds, probably like 1,100 with some stuff in it. So it's, you know, booked out to weigh uh, 11,000. So that was one thing that was a plus, having a um, RV that wasn't real heavy. And then I can also um, be able to get a used truck. So I, I was able to get a used Chevy uh, Dooley, which actually um, tolls about 13.5, and I beefed it up some, so I say it probably tolls 1,600 now, 16K, I mean, so um, that was a plus. Um, also, learning it, um, making sure you get good appliances, um, just so happened this unit, the Glendale had good appliances. Um, I had a neighbor uh, who actually bought a new RV and spent a lot of money for it. And I can't tell you how many problems and issues he had versus what we spent for our used one. So I would say when you're trying to get one first, if you never had one before, don't go buy a new one because I think you'll waste a lot of money because you don't really know what you need. So I would say buy a used one first between the prices depends on what you're looking for I say no less than 5,000 uh, no more than 12 or 15 you know if you got 15 on a real nice one so I say between 5 and 15 you can find you a very nice RV so I would say also know when you're traveling you know especially being black uh, being an african-american certain places you go um, you're going to get profiled so you might as well just, you know, <laughs> you might as well just uh, go on and chop that one up. That's going to happen. But, um, you know, just do what you need to do. Uh, try to avoid certain areas. Um, you know, when can, try to stay on major highways. Uh, it's good to call and pay for your spots early. That way, if you got to talk to someone on the phone, they can kind of tell that you're black on the phone. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's different because I can tell some, some RV parks that I have called no lie and uh, they said they didn't have no vacancies my wife called the same rv park and oh yeah yes 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 ma'am yes we can book you because my wife is white now i didn't plan uh it to go that way but um that's how it happens you know what i mean so sometimes you know it happens where she can do things i can't do and i'm just be honest with you um so when you're a couple traveling, man, uh, just keep in mind, man, you, you know, if you're an um, African-American couple, keep in mind that, you know, there's bias out here, you know what I mean? So 
call parks ahead of time if you want to stop and travel certain places. That way you'll save yourself a headache on traveling and then you get there and then you can't find a place to go. So I always um, kept in mind to think um, in ahead of time. So I have always done that. So I would say uh, call in ahead of time, make reservations, um, have a good reliable vehicle to tow whatever it is you're trying to tow. And um, keep all your necessities on, you know, everything that you need. Um, from tire gauges, from um, having a, a electric um, temperature gauge. And I'm gonna tell you what the electric temperature gauge do. When you're traveling, you can, every time you stop and fill up, you can hit your tires. So you can hit your tires with this temperature gauge, all, you know, six of them or four of them in your RV tires. And that temperature gauge will let you know which tire is actually getting hot. So that's the tire that's about probably that's about to get ready to uh, go bad. So you want to keep your eye on that tire. You see what I'm saying? So say if all of them read 101 and then you get to this other one, it's like 115. You're like, okay, let me keep an eye on this one. Then you check it again, it's like 130. So it's steady getting up, so that tire is probably going to get ready to go bad. So that's something to know. So it's a couple of tools that you would need to uh, get, which is a lot of videos on YouTube that will show you different tools to need uh, to get. Um, I would say have you some power tools. Power tools are good. Um, invest in uh, good needed equipment. Um, your RV power uh, holes. Make sure you get you a good RV power hose. Don't go cheap on that. Uh, get you a good, uh, check this out, power box. Get you a good RV power box. That way if any surges or anything go on, you know, when you're traveling, it's not going to burn your RV down, especially if you own it. It's not going to damage your RV, so that's a plus. So those are a few tips I would say to keep your eyes on. And like I say, um, you don't have to go all the way out. You can keep this thing very affordable um, and enjoy it. Have a good time, man. I love it. I wish I would have did it a long time ago. I'm not going back to no regular home, uh, probably a, a container home later, but um, I'm always have an RV, always, always. <laughs> so our goal is to upgrade, if not this year, next year. So as of now, we love it. We're not going back. So you can do it. I never did it before. Now I'm loving it. So hog on.